is it acceptable in a sense that like it could take another year, God forbid, three years for for CS2 to get to the place that CSGO already is? Like, don't you think that on some level there is an onus on Valve to be like, guys, Counter-Strike is a world-class esport. We need it now. For me, the risk for Valve is like they don't have like a B plan. Even back then, the source guy were thinking like, do we move to go? The one plus six guy were like, do we move to go as well? You know, so it was like a transition that took actually some time, you know, and that people accepted actually to go for CSGO because they believed in it. And they, they thought like it was actually the future for Counter Strike. Yeah. Here, the problem is that Valve is not giving us a new Counter Strike. And CSGO is not going to be available anymore from a player you are telling me I'm not gonna be able to play CSGO anymore. It's gonna be CS2 and it's gonna be a better version of CSGO. The problem right now, it's kinda like CSGO, but it's actually worst. So this is a big risk for Valve. When they did this with Dota in 2015, they moved Dota over to the Source 2 engine, right? They didn't have any of these problems. It instantly felt better. Everybody was like, oh great, awesome, sick. It feels great, let's just play the new one. No one ever looked back. But in the case of CS2, I think people are sort of surprised to see like, huh, this doesn't f feel very good. Like this kind of feels a little <laughs> like- uh... Yeah, even myself, honestly, the first time I was playing on CS2, I was like, hmm, the game is feeling good or whatever. And the more and more I, I played this, I mean, at the moment we are speaking, yes, it's still a better, yeah. but at the moment we are speaking, CSGO is way better than CS2. Just the feeling you have in the game when you play it. Yes, CS2 is like more beautiful and stuff like that, you know, and they implemented some new stuff with the HE, the grenades, the menu, you can resell. There is some cool feature, yes, but talking about just the feeling wise, when you are moving on the map, you are putting a headshot, you are trying to do the best, you know, CSGO is way better right now. For me, what I'm scared, is that they said it's gonna go out in the summer. It means like in maximum two months, it is gonna be out. Yeah. And I'm really scared about how can you fix all these feelings in two months. It took years for CSGO to fix it. I know. And now you have maximum two months. I know, and we don't have years. You look at these roster moves, like the Vitality move, right? Like the mm. picking up flavor. Like they are building a super team. They are paying hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to get these players together to compete in the game. And if the game is just, eh, you know what I mean? Like that's, yeah. that's a problem. Like that's a huge problem for Counter-Strike, right? Like everybody was complaining about the movement. The movement was like the number one thing everybody was complaining about. To be fair, Valve came out right with that post whatever it was two days ago with the with the update right and they said like we matched movement one-to-one -one between CSGO CS2 I don't know if you've had a chance to try it yet um, I did and honestly I'm sorry but it's not CSGO yet you still don't feel it's CSGO no it's better it's yeah. better but no see the full interview right here on the score esports YouTube channel when CS2 came out, I agree that the direction they went was like way too far. Like just like like crazy. <laughs> it just felt like shit. They completely nullified the ceiling. But I think if they made the CS2 movement feel exactly like CSGO, I would I, and I know it's a hot take, I would be a little bit disappointed.